Good morning, guys, and welcome to our Monday session. Now, guys, on this session, I'll be breaking down the pairs that I've picked out to be my top pairs for the week. So meaning pairs that I'll only be focusing on for this week. So I'm going to be breaking them down, giving you the thought process behind why I chose these pairs. And we're also going to be focusing on our entries on these pairs that I've already chose. So without wasting any time, so let us jump into our pairs and let us break them down. So the first pair that I'm going to be taking a look at is going to be what the DXY. Now, as you know, guys, the DXY represents the what the US dollar. So let us start by breaking that one down. Let us start by going to the overall higher time frame. So on the higher time frame, the structure is still remaining as so. So we do have what price coming from this impulsive movement and then giving us what this descending continuation pattern not from the breakout and mini retails. So overall, this is having what the higher probability of continuing to impulse all the way to the upside. And now as we're moving on to our daily time frame. So on the daily time frame, we still have this as our impulsive movement and then price giving us what this continuation structure that I'll be using my trend lines to define. So we are having what this is our continuation structure right from the breakout over here. So overall, this is having a higher probability of continuing to climb up up until the 90% rule. And now moving on to our mid time frame. So in the mid time frame, previously we did have what this is our small continuation. As you can see, that's from the breakout and then climbed up. And now as we're moving on to our lower time frame. What are we seeing? So on the lower term frame, all that we're looking for is just a simple continuation pattern to the upside. So I'm waiting for price to give me at least an indication like this. Then this will be confirmation that this is indeed having what a high probability of moving to the upside. So that is it on the DXY. Now let us get into what into our forex pairs. So the first pair that I'm looking at is going to be what the euro over the US dollar. So with this one, let us jump onto the weekly time frame. So as you're on the weekly time frame, you do see price coming from this impulsive movement down and then giving us what this sideways ascending continuation structure right from the breakout, drop and then form like a retest. So, but overall, this is still having more active momentum to continue to drop all the way to the downside. And now as we're moving on to the daily time frame. So on the daily time frame, this is what we are seeing. So price dropping from this impulsive movement and then giving us what this continuation structure. As you can see from the breakout and the retest, but overall, this is having what the high probability of impulsing down. And now as we are moving on to our mid time frame. So on the mid time frame, Previously, we did have what this is our con confirmation, this continuation structure that's from the breakout over here to impulse down. So at the moment, in the mid time frame, we're not having anything. So now, as we're dropping lower onto our lower time frame, so now at the moment, I am seeing the press is forming what continuation patterns to the upside, but we're waiting for press to give us what the pattern to the downside. So as you can see, this is the pattern to the upside. So all that I'm waiting for on my end is for press to impulse down, give me an impulsive movement, corrective structure, and then an impulsive movement that will be looking to right to the downside. So this is the type of structure that I'm looking for on your USB. So that is it on Euro USD. Now let us move on over on to our next pair, which is the Euro over the Australian dollar. So coming on to the high time frame. So in the high time frame, you do see this impulsive movement. And then price giving you out this continuation structure. That's from the breakout and the retest. So overall, this is having a high probability of dropping down. And I'm coming on to my daily time frame. So on the daily time frame, this continuation structure is even more clearer. 
So overall, this is how we want the high probability of continuing to drop all the way to the downside. So on the low time frame, this is essentially the type of entry that I'm looking for. So just a simple impulsive movement, then a small continuation structure like so. So once I do have what this type of movement, then that is when I'll be interested in inserting myself on this part. So this is how I'm looking at what the Euro UT. Now let us move on over to my next pair, which is what the Australian dollar over the Canadian dollar. But guys, this pair. This was added by mistake, so we'll have to remove a to cut and we have to jump on over onto a to USD. So let us jump into the weekly time frame. So on the weekly time frame with this one, we do see this heavy impulsive movement. And then price presenting us with what this small continuation structure. So overall, this is having a high probability of impulsing to the downside. And as I'm moving into the daily time frame, we do see the structure is much clearer. As you can see, this is our impulsive movement and this is what our small continuation structure. As you can see, so this is overall having what the half of the lead of impulsing down. And now move on to our mid time frame. So in the mid time frame, we do see price giving us what this corrective structure to confirm that this is having a half of the lead of impulsing down. So now let us drop lower into our lower time frame. So on the lower time frame, what are we looking for? So we are essentially looking for price to impulse down and then give us what a small continuation structure that we can use to enter ourselves. Let's see. So this is how I'm essentially looking at that. Like in this pair. And now on to our final pair, which is that the Great British Pound over the US dollar. Start by going to the high time frame and let us look how we done. So, in the high time frame, we have this impulsive movement and also have a price giving us this continuation structure. So, overall, this is having a high probability of impulsing all the way to the downside. And now coming on to the daily time frame. So in the daily time frame, price is in the process of forming a continuation structure. So this one is going to need us to be patient, as you can see. This is starting to form a continuation structure. So all that I'm waiting for is for this to drop Give me a breakout somewhere around there to confirm that this is how we want the high probability of impulsing all the way to the downside. So this is just essentially a backup pair. It's not yet ready to be traded. This is just one of those pairs that needs time for them to develop before we can enter them. So this is just a backup pair, guys. So this is going to be the end of our session. So the main pairs that I'm focused on is zero USD, zero AUD, and also what the AUD over the US dollar. So this is going to be the end of our session. Hopefully it was very informative and you did learn something. So our VIP members, guys, I'm going to continue to update you throughout the week each and every day. I'm going to update you with the screenshots and I'm going to trade it, yes, on how this pairs have been progressing. And as soon as one of these pairs, they are ready to be traded. But as for the rest of you guys, I'll see you once again on our next session, which is going to be on Wednesday. So that is it from me, guys, and take care.